Well, this is a aspect of the Matterhorn trial. So the Matterhorn trial was a study that looked at using the adjunct of immunotherapy to chemotherapy uh, in the perioperative treatment of esophageal G-junction and gastric adenocarcinoma. And uh, so th that trial has shown, has already been presented at ASCO a couple of years ago and then at ESMO this past year, that when you add the immunotherapy, uh, the uh, overall survival and the event free survival is better. So patients benefited from doing chemotherapy with immunotherapy. And the design was patients uh, received four cycles of chemotherapy and immunotherapy, then they weigh recover, then they have surgery, and depends on the surgery, depends where the tumor is located. They might get their stomach removed, they might get the esophagus removed, or a combination of both, right? And also their lymph nodes so that, that those can get tested. And then after they recover from surgery, they do again another four cycles. And so what this poster is about is looking actually at the surgical details. Because when you introduce something new, a new medication, right? Uh, the concern and the worry is that uh, the surgery might not be so um, effective or that the surgery's got more complications. And so, you know, these surgeries, removing the stomach, removing the esophagus, are big surgery. It takes really, like, a long time and also is um, a big change for patients. It takes a long time to recover. Already has itself complication that can happen, side effects, and some patients even die from a complication from these operations. So when you introduce a new drug, we want to make sure that we can still do a safe surgery as surgeons, right? And then we don't have increased uh, complications or increased mortality. And so that's what this poster is about, looking at the fact that the surgery was safe with uh, giving immunotherapy with chemotherapy and there was really no difference in terms of complication rates, in terms of uh, perioperative mortality, uh, there were no difference in terms of the ability to resect, to remove the entire cancer and not having to leave tumor behind, right? Because sometimes you go there and you really cannot take it all. So there was no difference. It was actually excellent in both arms, so the surgical um, uh, quality was excellent. Uh, and then also what we looked at is, is giving more treatment going to delay the ability to go to surgery, right? Because we don't want to make the patient so sick and have so much uh, co you know, side effects that then they never get to have the surgery, which is the, one of the most important part of the treatment. And actually we see no diff we saw no difference. So adding the immunotherapy was safe did not lead to much delay in going to surgery and not did, uh, did not um, uh, give more complication or more problems after the operation was done. Moreover, patient recovered well and the majority of patients were able to receive the uh, uh, treatment that comes after the surgery that we call adjuvant, right? So after they recover well, they were able to eat, they heal all their wounds, they uh, adjusted to the new anatomy, that's a big adjustment. They were able to go on and finish uh, their treatment with more chemo and more immunotherapy. And you can see here the survival curves uh, that show that people that had received this treatment did better overall. I think it's very important, often in these trials, you know, that we see that are uh, a pharmacological trial, right? We are so focused on the medication itself. We're so focused on the radiation or the chemo or the dosage or when to do it and so forth. But in, in, and then you say, well, then, then you do surgery. But in the surgery, there is no details. And I can tell you as a surgeon, there is many different ways to do surgery. It can be a good surgery, it can be not so good surgery. So the good thing about this trial is that we try to put some quality standards. So we standardize, and it was not easy because this is a global study. This is centers from all over the world. So it's hard a little bit to put people to agree, right? That this is to be done and should be done that way. But we were able to obtain some consent and uh, have some quality standards. So we all did you know, resection with a good margin. We all remove a, a good number of lymph nodes. And, and I think those aspects might influence the outcome more than the medication itself, right? Because the medication usually cannot make up for a surgery that is not done with quality. And so that's, I think, one of the advantages of the design of the trial in this case.